start with um, asking for the approval of tonight's meeting agenda with one change, which will be an addition of uh, to item D, presentation to the board. Uh, we have a special presentation from a student at Bruton Elementary tonight as well, so we'll add that in. But with that change, I'll make a motion to accept tonight's meeting agenda. Can I get a second? Second. Mr. McCarthy, any discussion? <coughs> All those in favor? Thank you. All right. Uh, with that, move into community open forum. We have one blue card uh, tonight. Uh, we have Mr. Paul Baxter. Uh, presentation from uh, Tug Hill Commission or about the Tug Hill book. So, podium is yours. I'm not sure which button you press there, but you press the button. There we go. It says light on. I'll bet this works now. Thank you. Thank you. We'll try it out. There we go. Uh, good evening. My name is Paul Baxter. I'm an employee of the New York State Tug Hill Commission and a resident of the town of West Monroe. Uh, and even before I was a resident of West Monroe, my parents uh, have owned a camp on Panther Lake in the north part of Constantia, so I have long-term roots in the uh, North Shore and Central Square School District. It's been uh, 45 years since the Tug Hill Commission came about, and with that uh, milestone being reached, uh, the Tug Hill Commission had a book written about it called Tug Hill Shaping the Future of the Region, and it's a book, as it implies, about uh, the region and its history and uh, the Tug Hill Commission's experience in helping the municipalities uh, guide their own future, which is what our role is. Uh, with that, uh, we're trying to get the word out about the uh, commission and uh, the history of the commission in the region. And I have copies for each of the Central Square School Libraries. For those of you who may be interested in a personal copy, I understand it's also available at Amazon. And it's also available at local sources, including, I understand, some Kinney Drugs and uh, Buckingham Market in Constantia. And with that, I'd like to give you uh, these copies. And uh, then I will sit in on your meeting for a little while, as I have in past evenings, and uh, been very, uh, very informed by your proceedings. And then I'll have to go on to a couple other meetings because I'm what they call a circuit rider. I work with a number of communities. And I have a couple municipal meetings myself to attend tonight after I leave here. So I'd like to uh, thank you for the opportunity to present to you tonight and to give you copies of this book for the Central Square Libraries. Great. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. to special presentations to the board. Uh, tonight, first, I'll introduce uh, Mr. Brent Phillips. Brent Bowden, oh, I'll be all right, uh, from Ruby Elementary. <laughs> Good evening. I'll adjust that. Um, I'm really excited to be here uh, with my friend Raven. Um, and I just wanted to talk to the board briefly about the Arts and Ed program. Um, as you are probably aware, you support the Arts and Ed program throughout the district. And that provides us the ability to have some really neat things happen with students. And uh, as a result of the Arts and Ed program, we've been able to afford Rachel the Poet for the past several years. Rachel comes in, she's an artist in residence. She stay, stays about a week and she goes through all our fourth and fifth grade classes and gets kids excited about poetry. Well, this year, Raven got a little excited about poetry. So she wrote her first poem. And her mom submitted this poem to be judged. And then Raven won a uh, top 10 in the country for her poem. So I wanted her to come over here and, oh, and the reason that I found out about it is because Raven's grandmother brought me a copy of the letter, so proud of her grandchild. So I want to call Raven up here and I want her to explain a couple of things about her poem and then give her a chance to read it to you. 
but this is all due to the arts and that and uh, the inspiration and we have a, a Brewerton student published in a hardcover book that's pretty awesome
But I also did want to take this opportunity, uh, since she's about to do one of her 18 million tasks, today is Administrative Professionals Day, so we want to uh, give a big thank you to Pearl Horn for all she does to make the board uh, as effective as we can be in spite of ourselves. So thank you. <laughs> that, I'll invite Mr. Woods up to uh, the podium and the microphone, and I think there will be several speakers after him. Oh. <laughs> Red means on, yes. Yeah. Here we have a uh, ton of the members of the bronze medal winning PSA class. Uh, the Air State Percussion Circuit drum line. Uh, they had quite the season. Uh, if you want to move out of the way so you're not staring into that white you know, <laughs> projector, I'm just going to throw it out there. You know. Personally, I'm blind with that. But, you know, so. uh, we, we had quite the season. We started out um, with our first scheduled competition, scheduled being the keyword on February 2nd, which, if you recall correctly, was the day that we were not allowed to have activities in the district until 11 a.m., which made it very difficult for us to leave for our show at 9 in the morning like we needed to. Unfortunately, that was a bit of a, a harbinger of things to come. Our big uh, WGI regional that we wanted to go to last year, but we got canceled because of the Nor'easter. Was canceled by WGI this year because Trumbull, Connecticut was getting, I kid you not, three inches of snow. <laughs> so, but you know, we persevered through you know, the season there. We had a bit of a rough start with some performances. You know, the CNS show was not a you know, fond memory that I miss will ever have. But as the season went on, we ended up actually beating every group in our class. Um, the Victor Show, we ended up in first place over um, just about every group in our class. And then at championships, we ended up in third, you know, very, very close third place. You know, one judge had us you know, in first place, I believe it was. Another judge had us in a close second. So they're incredibly competitive. Uh, on a separate note, we had downbeat percussion here today. Um, and that group, you know, performed and did clinicians with the uh, percussionists and some of the other, you know, middle school and high school band students as well. And in that group was the Phoenix director and the Joan Alpage director, who, you know, were groups that we competed with. And we were just talking about what a crazy season it was. We've never seen our class that close, changing from week to week to week. So, you know, these kids did a great job of, you know, putting Central Square on the map, you know, really giving Central Square a great name for everyone. So, very, very, you know, pleased with everything that they did this year. They made an imprint on the judges. I talked to the judges from the championship show. I get to run the championship show. It's one of the fine things I get to do as treasure on the circuit. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're all impressed with everything that you did. And you made an impression on those other you know, directors groups as well. So you should be very proud of everything you did. Um, up here is my co-director, Elizabeth Keel. I'll fill the blanks, especially the, the one blank about the scholarship winner, Sarki. All right. Um, so, the, we talked about the season itself a bit. Um, I wanted to talk about the show. Our show is called Masquerade, and it's all about figuring out who you are and how people tend to hide behind a mask of what you think is, is expected of you or what you feel that you need to do. Um, so, this show specifically was very relatable to people going through and really figuring out who they are as individuals. So, I was thinking that also relates, I know Mrs. Mascaro mentioned, how many different attributes um, of the Central Square Learner that we are touching upon in these extra groups. Uh, but this also kind of relates to that social emotional part of them kind of taking a look and thinking about themselves and reflecting on who they are as individuals. Um, let's see, the scholarship winner, uh, we had Katie Stewart. Uh, she was able out of- step forward, wave. <laughs> <laughs> Um, every drumline throughout the circuit got to submit um, a senior for this scholarship, and she was the winner. Um, let's see. Did anything? It's actually the second year in a row that Central Square's produced the scholarship winner, too. Um, so I'm opposed to Mrs. Mascaro, Elena Mascaro, one last year. So. Oh, nice. So we're on a streak here in Central Square, so it's a good thing. Um, I do have one more thing. Um, I teach at the elementary levels, and getting to kind of see what the students become. I, I have hinted to my students, hey, when, when you get to the middle school, you can become part of this ensemble. And I can say that there really is a lot of excitement 
from those younger students because, I mean, who doesn't want to play a drum, really? It's, it's fun to see all of those trumpet players, the saxophonists, everybody really wants to be a part of this type of thing that we're growing here today. So thank you for allowing us to have that. And great job. I was at the SRC Arena, and I agree with the one judge that says you guys came in first because you were awesome. Great job. Yeah, you were uh, awesome. Congrats on a great uh, season. Congratulations, Katie Stewart, on your scholarship. Um, and Mr. Woods made your, um, basically you have to keep the momentum next year, SB3 in a row for the scholarship. So, um, And I, I just wanted to ask, did, did any of you have a chance to, uh, like I don't know if you belong to Flow Marching, did you happen to log in and watch any of the championships for indoor percussion in Dayton? Pretty amazing uh, shows, right? So. I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, continuing to watch you and, and your performances over the coming years as well. So it's a great work. Um, great season to everyone. Like I said, we do have uh, cake over here, so we're going to kind of pause the meeting for the next, whatever, 10 minutes or so. Um, let's let all the students grab some cake first, but it's open to everyone. So thanks again for uh, coming and filling us in.